We are back to candy apples, but we are starting from from scratch. Okay, because they have to Basically. end up on the stick somehow, right? That's right, and, and there's actually a bit of a process, right? Because you need to pull the uh, core out, you need to remove the sticker, and then the little uh, fuzzes, we'll call them apple fuzzes, need to be removed as well. And then you, you poke the stick in from the bottom up to the top. Okay. So joining me once again as a supervisor for Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory, uh, Caroline Butler. What is our next step after we have stabbed it? So what we're going to do, we've already mixed it. We have our candy apple mixture here. It's super hot, so it's liquid. And this is like, you know, as a child, when you envision candy apples, it's that red dip. This is exactly. a traditional dip. Exactly. We, okay. We don't do the cinnamon, uh, just it's not a popular demand for us, so we don't add it. But the very, very traditional is cinnamon with the red candy. Look, the doors haven't even opened yet. People are lined up. Good morning. What time do you open, he asks? Uh, 10. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. All right. So how do we dip? So what we're going to do, you want to make sure all the green is gone. Okay. And give a little twist. Shake it. Okay. And then you can just pop it on the sugar. And now that's the traditional, but there's also a candy coated one. How would we go about doing that? So basically the exact same way. You want to make sure it's completely covered. Yes. Give it a little twist to make sure all the excess is gone. Mm -hmm. And you roll it. Because it's so hot, it'll stick immediately, and then you can just plop it down. Quick roll, though, eh? Do you want to try? Uh, yeah, I think so. But I have to, okay, so the, the candy is still 77 degrees. So, so the bomber's not in. Okay, so, oh, it's, it's not on. Still, okay. It's going to be about uh, probably upwards of 200, though. Okay, so be careful. <laughs> yes, right, be very so careful. Go. Very hot. How do you get it around the top there? It's tricky. Just ah. give it a couple good scoops. Ah. There you go. That'll do. <laughs> There's still a little bit of green left. Okay, and then swirl. Uh, are you able to go between the fingers? Roll in your finger. There you go. Okay. There you There's go. There's still a little bit of green left on mine. That's okay. You're okay, natural. one more sparkly or um, sprinkles this time. Okay, so in circles, so right? Scoop it to you. Scoop it to me. And then scoop it away. Oh yeah. There you go. Now I get it. And then Give it twirl a little it twist. in my finger. Yeah. Ooh. Careful if that hits you, it's hot. Okay. <laughs> There we go. And then we'll switch it over here. Bring it through the sprinkles. There you go. Pop that it down. one fits right in. Right. And so we put down the sugar basically. So unlike the caramel, that can just sit on a tray. Mm -hmm. The sugar is here to prevent the candy from basically just drying right to the tray. OK, right, because you might not be able to see at home. But look, yeah, it's lined with a nice coating of it is white sugar. <laughs> but what, what is it that you tell kids? Some kids ask if it's snow, so we tell them Santa brings us a fresh batch of snow daily of from the North Pole. Of course it is, of course it is. And uh, speaking of nice, cool treats, potentially from the North Pole, what have we got over here? We have some delicious ice creams. Okay, we, what are the different types? Oh, we have everything. We have sorbets, yep. we have frozen yogurts, and we have gelato. Okay. So they're all made for the store, and we have between like 25 to 35 flavors on hand at all times. Okay, you go with a container. I'm going to go with a delightful waffle cone, because I haven't had enough sugar yet, Caroline. Here's your scoop. Okay, what flavor are you going with? Uh, I'm going to go with pistachio. Okay, and what's this back one here? That is tiger butter, so it's a vanilla base, and it's got swirls of chocolate and swirls of peanut butter. Hello, tiger butter. <laughs> Very delicious. Not okay. to be confused with tiger tail. And what's tiger tail? Uh, orange base and black licorice. Okay. What do you think? Two scoops on a, on a typical cone? Why not? I think two I, scoops? I, you can even do two flavors if you're feeling crazy. Whoa. Okay, I'll stick with one here, but... <laughs> What there do you, you think? Go. You're natural. All right, perfect. And for those who are maybe watching their sugar intake. So we actually have a line. It's called No Sugar Added. Yeah. So it's all chocolate that's been sweetened with maltitol. So it's friendly for those who require a low sugar diet. We have okay. lots of options here. Perfect. Okay, if you go to the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory website, you can look at uh, all of the different information. And they've got 55 locations across uh, Canada alone. So no matter what city you live in, you will be able to access their sweet treats. Now. Uh, we're not quite finished here at the factory. We've got one more check-in before the morning ends. I've got a, a hidden gem that they offer here that I must introduce you to. 